show-stopping fragrances. <laughs> hey, what an introduction. Wow. So I actually made this list about four months ago and just didn't film it. I, I actually forgot that I made the list. But then I remembered, and here we are. Hey friends, Ash here with Gent Sense. Hope you're doing well. Today we're taking a look at 10 different show-stopping fragrances. What show are you stopping? Yeah, I don't know. Basically, these are just fragrances that smell really nice and should be attention-grabbing used in the right situations. You know the drill, so let's jump into it. So some of these are going to be more fall and winter, some of these are going to be more spring and summer. We've got a nice mix of, of everything here. Let's start things off with The One Mysterious Night. This one, of course, following The One Royal Night and has now been followed by The One Luminous Night. This one has saffron, rose, oud, and amber as some of the notes in the fragrance. And yeah, by that note breakdown, you can tell what it is. This is The One, only reimagined as an oud rose fragrance. And of course, uh, saffron. Actually, the saffron may be more noticeable in here than the rose or the oud. This is absolutely a designer style rose oud saffron fragrance, meaning it's made for mass appeal, it's made for compliments made to get attention, and it's a fantastic fragrance for an evening out. Which makes a lot of sense because it is, at the end of the day, a fragrance in the the one line. This one's fantastic if you're looking for just a, a simple rose oud fragrance with designer sensibilities made for mass appeal because some people are a little bit scared of rose oud fragrances, especially the oud part because they think it's gonna be potentially dirty or off-putting. Don't have anything to worry about with that one. Let's keep it moving with Dior Fahrenheit Le Parfum. This is awesome. Suede, violet leaf, rum, and vanilla. Some of the notes in the fragrance. A lot of guys, especially younger guys, are afraid of Dior Fahrenheit. Yeah, they see that bottle and they go, oh no, I can't wear that, it smells like gasoline. Why would I wanna smell like petrol? First off, uh, the reason you wanna smell like petrol, so you can smell like a man. Ha <laughs> ha, just playing, except I'm not. But I get it, some people, they smell Fahrenheit Eau de Toilette and they go, Oh yeah, I don't know, it smells, you know, 80s, 280s, can't wear it, can't wear it. Fahrenheit Le Parfum, you're not gonna have that issue. This has a good amount of boozy sweetness in here, which is a certified compliment magnet. Or the way it's used in here makes this fragrance a certified compliment magnet. You still do get the violet leaf in here, you still get a leather note, although in here it's suede instead of just straight leather. So you do get a lot in here that harkens back to the original Fahrenheit, it's just Fahrenheit Le Parfum, frankly, nowadays, is much more wearable and much more attention grabbing. And it smells really good, yeah. All right, next up we got the Scent Absolute from Hugo Boss. This has something that I hate, which is just three notes, ginger, menenka, and vetiver. Fragrance brands, Stop, stop, give me more notes. Three, not enough. Now in general, I prefer the scent Private Accord. I like that one a little bit more than Absolute, but Absolute is also a fantastic attention-grabbing fragrance. It smells very unique compared to most things out there. And for a lot of people, this is actually gonna be more versatile, more wearable than Private Accord. So with this one, you're gonna get a dusty sort of exotic fruitiness. The ginger gives it a nice sparkle, a nice pop off of the top. And as it dries down, you get vetiver, giving it a nice masculine modern feel. The scent absolute, solid stuff. You can wear this basically spring, fall, and winter in my opinion. Summer, maybe I wouldn't go for it. I'd go for something a little fresher, but this one's still very versatile, big attention grabber. Up next, something darker with a little more punch to it. Nuit DC Noir Argent from Isimiyake. It's got myrrh, leather, olibanum, and grapefruit as some of the notes in the fragrance. So you do get a little citrus sparkle in the top, but not a whole bunch. This is really about those deeper, more resinous notes, though it still does have a good amount of sweetness as it dries down. Like a lot of the fragrances that are more evening-centric or cool weather-centric in the Isimiyake line, this one is great in terms of the quality versus what you pay. Yes, there are more hyped fragrances from Isimiyake like Pulse of the Night or Noir Ambre, but this is also fantastic and should not be overlooked. Let's go from one black bottle to another. Next up, Bentley for Men Absolute. Now, Bentley for Men Intense is the one that gets most of the hype. That one you'll find all over the place being talked about. It's one of the best bang for your bucks that you can get, and it is. Yeah, that's, that's really good. But so is this. This has cedar, oud, olibanum, and pink pepper as some of the notes in the fragrance. And this one 
smells suspiciously similar to a discontinued fragrance. This one, Gucci Porom, the original, which has been discontinued for a while. So let's say you really like that fragrance, but you don't wanna to pay too much to get a bottle of it because now they go for a whole bunch on the secondary market. You could get this one. Or let's just say you want a masculine fragrance with a good amount of class, with a good amount of depth, you could also get this one. Fantastic fall and wintertime fragrance, great night out fragrance, one that you can wear dressed up, you can wear it formally, you can wear it casually, you can do whatever with this. That one, Bentley from In Absolute, is right there with Bentley from In Intense in terms of the quality. It is right there. All right, next up, let's do this one, Dior Higher Energy. This one has juniper, pineapple, grapefruit, and vetiver. And some people actually will compare this to Raja Parfum's Elysium. So some people out there feel that this smells close enough to that that this could be a replacement for Elysium. I don't think higher energy is right there one-to-one -one with Elysium. I think if you spray them on side by side, it's a pretty big difference. But what this does have is a really nice juniper and citrus opening with that pineapple note as well that gives it this bright, attention-grabbing, sparkling opening. Obviously, this one is great for spring and summertime, great for daytime, great for warm weather, and has a nice vetiver in the dry down as well. Next up, one of my favorite fragrances from the house of Hermes. It is Voyage d'Hermes, and this is the Parfum. This has cardamom, lemon tea, woods, and additional spices as some of the notes in the fragrance. And this is actually the second bottle of this that I own. And my first bottle, the little metal piece here, because the bottle does like that. <laughs> it just rotates. So uh, you sit it like this in your collection. When you want to spray it, you flip it up, flip it back down. The first bottle that I had, this came undone, the little metal piece. So then my bottle was just kind of this bottle that had to sit on its side, I guess. <laughs> Not that great. Uh, thankfully, this one hasn't fallen apart yet, but I know that some people do have that issue with this. This one's just fantastic, in my opinion. It has supreme mass appeal, but it smells very unique, very original. It's its own scent. It's not trying to copy something else out there. Doesn't smell too youthful, but at the same time, doesn't smell too old. So you have some sweetness in here, but not an overload. You don't have a ton of amberwood or ambroxan overloading the fragrance either. The spiciness is well done. It's a great scent and very versatile as well. That one you can wear pretty much anywhere, anytime. It gets overlooked by Terre d'Hermes and honestly just about everything else that Hermes releases, but that one is great. Stands on its own. Now this next one is one that I have worn for years and apparently nobody likes this. Like this thing has never really gotten a whole bunch of love. Whatever, I like it. Your loss. It's Gucci by Gucci, poor homme. It's got cypress, tobacco, leather, and patchouli as some of the notes in the fragrance. The main notes here being cypress and tobacco. And the way the tobacco is used here is almost more like a green tobacco leaf than it is a very sweet pipe tobacco. That's not to say it's completely devoid of sweetness because there is sweetness here. It just leans slightly more to the spicy green side of sweetness than it does the, the very warm syrupy side. And while there's leather in here as well, it's, it's more of a suede leather than it is something like a black leather or rough leather or anything like that. It's nicely refined, it's masculine, sophisticated, easy to wear, fantastic scent. Gucci by Gucci, overlooked in my opinion, underappreciated. It's solid, it's good. Is it gonna blow your mind? Eh, maybe not but it does smell very, very nice and appealing, and it's highly versatile. Next up, Mandarin Basilic from Guerlain. Mandarin Basilic. Now this one is unisex, but some guys will tell you that it's uh, feminine, that it leans feminine. I don't really feel like it does. I feel like it's firmly unisex. This stuff smells so good. I do not care what anybody says. Oh man. Even if I didn't wear it, I feel like I would buy this and just kind of chase my wife around. <laughs> that sounds really weird. Chase her around like Solid Snake or something in Metal Gear Solid. And just blast her with it a few times. That way I smell it when she walks around. He's sneaking up behind her and <laughs> got him. It's got citrus, basil, orange blossom, and green tea is some of the notes in the fragrance. And it is one of the most realistic orange and uh, basil fragrances you're ever gonna smell. Presentation is really nice. 
performance could be better. Price is good though, thankfully, so you can spray it on and not have to worry too much. This is one of the best citrus fresh fragrances I've ever smelled. Now, it doesn't smell super youthful, but at the same time, it doesn't really smell old either. It just <laughs> smells like what it says on the front. So if that's what you wanna smell like, check it out. Or buy it and chase down your significant other and uh, ninja spray. All right, last but not least, Wanted by Night from Azaro. Cinnamon, tobacco, mandarin, orange, and incense. Some of the notes in the fragrance, and it's almost like I have a love affair with this at this point. It seems like I, I talk about it a lot. You know why? Because it doesn't cost very much, because I've gotten great feedback wearing this, because it has good longevity, it's got good projection, and it smells pretty unique. This right here <laughs> is what I would love to see more of from fragrance houses when they come out with a flanker. Something that is fairly unique, something that performs well, something that even though it's a little bit unique, it still is super easy to wear and people love it. I realize that's a lot to ask for, right? <laughs> because that's, that's probably what everybody wants with every release. But sometimes when you get something like this, you just gotta appreciate it. Especially after the 45th time smelling something that smells like Invictus. No thank you. So Wanted by Night, this one, showstopper? Sure, whatever, it's good. So Wanted by Night is gonna wrap this one up. That fragrance, I think, is fantastic. One of the best bang for your bucks that you can find right now. And one day in the future, probably like 15 years from now or something, Wanted by Night's gonna be discontinued and there are gonna be people online going, oh, they don't make them like that anymore. <laughs> people selling them on eBay for like $300 or something. Man, this Guerlain is so good. I swear, the citrus jumps off of tester strips so much, it's insane. I just wanna load this thing down with the fragrance and just like put it in a room, you know? Almost like a little air freshener you would stick in the, in the wall in an outlet. No, nah, just spray it 15 times with this sit it on the counter. There we go, 10 show-stopping fragrances that I like a lot. I'm not gonna call the video that, but that's what I should call it. If you smelled any of these, let me know what you think about them. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for your support, stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys. I almost just wiped out.